and always a reminder from myself, an abdukul ajisa da'ifu, miskinu, zalimu, jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. We took a path to be nothing and as much as we can move to nothingness, we can enter into Allah's Divinely grace and rahmah, the eternal binary code. And as much as this dunya wants us to be something, as much as it pulls us away from Allah's Divinely presence, the perfection of insan and the gift of nubuwa and risalat. This perfection of humanity that would grant them prophecy and messengership. And that had to do with the perfection of their face. Means that Allah granted a perfection within the crown of their creation of their face and the attributes that open the face, the perfection of their khuluq and character granted them to represent Divinely Presence. Allah created a face that would eternally represent His Divinely Realities. The face of Allah can never be seen and will never be seen. Its reality is a dress and reflection upon the holy face of Sayyidina Muhammad Wajikal Kareem. When we say Rasul Kareem and all these naat and all these praisings from Kalam al awliya they're teaching us that what, what magnificence comes from this light, the source light, that if that Divinely face should appear before the servant, all other lights are lost, this is the source file. Everything else becomes insignificance in the presence of that light and all of creation is in search of that light in its wujud and its reality. That holy face of Prophet is a reflection from La ilaha illallah, that Allah is reflecting upon that reality because Allah has no likeness. When created creation and my likeness is in representation to Prophet means the immensity of… Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago. Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Of that holy face that power face and the blessings that all creation tried to achieve from that reality. Means Sami al-Basir that their ears dressed with seven, their face dressed with seven holy openings from Allah As-Sami al-Basir, Alim al-Qadir wa Nur al-Hay. These attributes what Allah granted as a gift to the face of Sayyidina Muhammad in the world of light. Those attributes depending upon how it dressed the Prophets of Bani Israel granted them their abilities to be under nubuwa or risalat. Either they reaffirmed a message upon earth or they delivered the new message upon earth. This was their categories. But had to do with the dress of these seven essences upon their reality, means the perfection of our life and character is to achieve the crown to submit to Allah And then what Allah grants the servant who submits 
he brings the crown into the Divinely Presence. This is why the pinnacle and the power of salah is in sujood, not in standing. Other nations left sujood and they stand, they, they can't bow down, shaitan lock their legs and don't let them. But the secret of salah is in sujood, why? Because the only way Allah is going to give you a crown is if you submit your crown in His Divinely Presence. That in My Presence you're nothing. Whatever I gave to you, didn't give to you, you're nothing in My Presence. So they go into sujood and Allah is closest to the servant in sujood because it's the pinnacle of humility and the heart is up at its highest point. And qalbin mu'min baytullah, the house of Allah has to be high and your maqz and brain has to be down, humble in front of Allah Now it's the reverse, they put their heart down, put their head up. That's called pride and arrogance. But Allah's system is completely different. If you learn to bring yourself down. Put your pride and arrogance down, whatever you think your head knows, your eyes have seen, your ears have heard, it's nothing. Put your head down. If you take the path in putting your head down and going into sujood and telling yourself, I'm nothing Ya Rabbi. An abdukul aji so da'if, miskeenu, zalim and jahal, I have admitted to all of them. Why you have to beat me to prove that? Why you have to test me to prove that? I've already admitted that to you, Ya Rabbi. So they took a life of humble, put their head down. If you put your head down in life and we put the ego down, Allah when He gives the command because the heart now is up, right? The, the baytullah has to be high. Not the bait of shaitan because the people whom have ego, the head is the house of shaitan, always fighting the heart and attacking the heart. Means our greatest jihad, our greatest fight is against the head. That Allah has to be in my heart, the love of Sayyidina Muhammad has to be in my heart. You can you put the love of Allah in your heart but not the love of Sayyidina Muhammad No fight, shaitan will defeat you. Means that the presence of Prophet has to come into the heart of the believer to support them, to encourage them so that they can worship Allah and that they can fight shaitan. And that's what we call jihad on nafs. That they fight themselves, they fight the bad desire they're trying to enter into their heart, they fight the arrogance of their head, their eyes and their ears. Says, no matter what I'm seeing and hearing it's all but an illusion from shaitan, now much more sophisticated illusions are coming. So I swore I saw it, CGI what was it that you saw? Was it really what you saw? So the turuqs carry that reality. That come with us, take a path of sujood, put your head down. You want to meditate at night, put your head down. You want to talk to Allah put your head down. You want to admit to Allah your weakness and that you have no power, you put your head down. And the heart rises and the house of Allah is always up. If Allah should find satisfaction in that servant, and that light begins to enter into the heart, the light of Islam, the light of Iman, the light of Maqam al-Ihsan, what happens? Allah says, now I'll raise your head. Our life was to keep our head down but when Allah wants to raise the head, He dresses it. I'm going to dress your face with My attributes from the presence of Prophet Means Allah's dress and command upon Sayyidina Muhammad with all their salawats and all their practices, Prophet will begin to lift their head. 
You understood your life was to keep your head down. You understood the authority of that kingdom. You understood the authority of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why they put Nalain Pak onto their head. Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jailani Qadda said, what? They're all only under my feet, why? Because that's in the prophetic tajalli talking about Prophet that all awliya under the command of Prophet with their head, they love to be blessed with their head and neck under the holy feet of Sayyidina Muhammad Even in their not they write that even with my head down there all the dust from down there it will be the coal, the surma of my eyes. There's no greater honour than Ya Rabbi keep me, don't let me to be in the, 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 the desires of shaitan. The greatest place you can keep me is my head under the feet of Sayyidina Muhammad Means his nazar, his love and affection is controlling the bad character of the servant. And if he should dress the servant, he begins to dress them, Sami al-Basir. The attributes begin to dress their ears. The one whom Sami, Sami the one whom hears and Basir the one whom sees and they're connected. If you want to hear the Divine you have to submit the ears to the Divine, right? You learn to live a life of taqlid and following guidance and a guide. Otherwise how would your ears ever submit to anything from heaven? It submits to this channel, to that channel, to this radio, to that. And right now everyone's submitting to TikTok. 500 different advices are coming making everybody manic. Why? Because how shaitan knows to destroy the ear and Rahman comes and teaches, no, you have to be on a path of samina watana. Who did you Samina and who are you Watana? Who are you following? The nation's command from Prophet is, Samina Watana, we have heard and we obey. Who did you hear and who did you obey if you don't follow guidance? So unlocking Sifat al-Sami is the primary goal of the head, the reality. We're trying to now inherit from Risalat and Nubuwa realities where Prophet said, My nation, my ulama, they're like the Prophets of Bani Israel. Another version of the narration, they're inheritors of the Prophets and the messengers of Bani Israel. And that's when we described all the haqqaiqs. So it means that Prophet is the Prophet and Messenger Maker, that's what the Nat was saying. Right? They have to go into that presence to take that atish, to take that light. They're not going to be signed off from La ilaha illallah, there's no way. The kalima means there is no way for you to La ilaha illallah. The door is Muhammadun Rasulullah of all eternity, has never ever ever not been that. Not an angel, not a prophet, not anything in creation passes that door. It can't. Even Sayyidina Jibreel can't go there because the Miraj Prophet was going to the, the boundary of where Muhammadun Rasulullah touches Allah, right? La ilaha illallah hey mim to Muhammad qaw ba qaw sayni o adana. That's La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah Nobody goes to Qawba Qawseini wa Adana. Between Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad there is no creation, not an angel, nothing. It's a non-created area. Creation only exists in the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah So means then the perfection of character the granting of this reality is from Prophet We recite the nuts but we don't really understand what we're reciting. And all the nuts are coming and to reconfirm from awliyaullah 
They don't know the presence of Prophet is the one who has all the keys. And all the nations were trying to get their reality of the Risalat and prophecies, they had to get it the key from the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad They didn't know it, that's why Nabi Musa in the Naat had to ask, Ya Rabbi let me see you, I want to see who I'm getting this key from, you can't see me. I'll show you my glory and all ulama agree. Allah showed the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and Nabi Musa reached out. His reality completely dead had to be brought back a new reality, a Muhammadan reality to become Muslimun, to become Muslim under the banner of Mim and Muhammad Means that all creation is in pursuit of that reality of the holy face. And Allah granting to the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad they're the custodians of the holy face on creation, right? All the other nations were imitating to deliver the message of Prophet through their prophets and messengers. But when the nation of the king of all creation is completely different category, his nation are all entitled and that's why he said, we are the people of Samina Watana, what? Unlock your realities because you're under direct vision of the Sultan. That if you take a life in which you follow guidance, your hearing will open. Why? Because you're going to hear what you don't want to and you're going to struggle against yourself to submit. You're going to think, you're going to chew against your nafs and eventually you're going to perfect the system of Samina Watana. It's the secret of the scene of Yaseen one of the realities, why Prophet is the superior reality because Allah created him to hear Allah. So he's Ya Yaqeen Seen Sami, he represents the perfection of Sami, as a result he speaks for Allah The one who hears the reality speaks the reality, not the one who doesn't hear anything, how he's supposed to talk? Even amongst awliya, the one whom hears perfect has permission to speak because it means the, the Sami is open. If you took a life in which to submit, so your Sami, Sifat al-Sami won't open for what? Until you submit, you submit, you submit. As a result of taking a life of submitting which is not easy to follow guidance, Allah began to open their hearing. Sifat al-Sami comes and they begin to hear. They hear themselves, they hear the isharats and the commands that Allah wants, Prophet wants within their heart and their soul and their life is to fulfill that command. Regardless of anyone around them, what they say, what their opinion, doesn't matter. Samina wa atana. we heard it, all the companions this was their title. Allah tried and tested all of them, oh we heard the Prophet's like this, Sayyidina Abu Bakr says, I don't care what you say. Whatever Sayyidina Muhammad says, Samina wa atana. he went for miraj, he went for miraj. All their lives were symbol. That we are the people of Sami and our hearing all perfected. Their ears only for Prophet and Allah taught us that don't ever ask Sayyidina Muhammad to listen to you, right? Because his ears are only for Allah So he taught us, ask Prophet to look at you, uzul halana. Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Karim, if you grant your holy eyes, but I can't ask Prophet to listen to me, he's created only to listen to Allah 
But one of the realities of Yaseen so means these lights, these characters, these adabs, these tariqah realities was what to open Sifat al sami That we took a life in which we hear, we hear, we hear. When we're able to hear and fight the lower devils, Allah began to open the ears of the servant to hear their reality, to hear the command of their realities for Allah, Tiya Rasul wa ulil amri minkum. They're in the oceans of obedience. The Ta'Allah is only for Prophet Only Prophet can listen to Allah you can't listen to Allah I can't listen to Allah So Allah gave it as a way to us. The only one whom listens to Allah is Sayyidina Muhammad And the only one who can listen to Sayyidina Muhammad with yaqeen and certainty are the Ulul Amr. Your life is then find an ulul am, hold tight, enter into their testing. That your life is to not follow your will if you want a sami. If you want what Allah has to give then you battle against the self then Allah begin to open sami. If Allah is opening sifat as sami what's happening? Your heart is now opening. Can somebody come and say, I'm seeing Shaykh, I see this, I see this, I see this, I see this without Sifat as Sami opening? No, shaitan is playing with you. They come all the time, I see this, I see this, Jesus talks to me, right? First person they say, most imitated Prophet, but tariqah is known, you don't see nothing. Seeing is only when you've been perfected in hearing. Then you know that's why the shaykhs, it's, it's like medicine. They, they can calibrate every situation that's happening because of the reality opens in a specific manner. They have to be under taqlid, they have to be under the, the command and guidance of these shaykhs. As a result of following guidance they're continuously training on the ear. Does this person really hear me? If I tell you one, two, three, four, five, you come back say six, seven, eight, nine, your whole life then has to be keep training, keep training because you're not hearing one, two, three, four, five. You're hearing what you want to and you come back and tell me seven, eight, nine, ten. What's that? So you see then how difficult that life process was. When this opens, now Sifat al-Basir begins to open, Ahlul Basira only open when they heard and they took a life of listening, Samina Watana, Samina Watana, crushed their egos, crushed their desires, crushed what they wanted and continuously followed their taslim, continuously in a, in a form of submission, Allah only then open Sifat al-Basir. So then the servant has to be for now the rest of the face is opening. So now they're hearing because it's from the ears. They hear and basir and they see. Now the knowledges that come to them they're really hearing it because Allah is opening for them. And as a result of hearing it they're the people of tafakkur and contemplation. As a result of their tafakkur and contemplation, they're basir, ahlul basira. Because they close their eyes, they controlled their desire and the, their wanting to listen to shaitan and their whole life. Because Allah says, Shaitan put a lock on these. He says, I'll take the lock off your hearing, I'll take the lock off of the seeing and remove the khiswa of your heart. Right? The three nukht that block you from the sheen is the shaitan, he has three locks on people. So they can't see, they can't hear and their heart is veiled. System of awliya coming to fight shaitan's hagagami on people is block the ear off of shaitan and take the ear to follow Rahman. If they follow this lock can be broken so that shaitan is not 
locking the person and taking it as his command. As a result they begin to meditate and contemplate, then the second lock will break that they can't see anything. So they're heedless doing all sorts of corrupt things. If the servant can hear with Divinely Grace they'll be trained on how to see what people can see, right? Because then their inspirations will be correct. Ilmu yaqeen has to open ayna yaqeen. These knowledges of reality have to be confirmed with the eye of their heart and they meditate on how to connect their heart, connect their heart, connect their heart until they see their shaykh, they see their shaykhs, they see the presence of Prophet through their heart and their Ahlul Basira. So they hear, they see. As a result Allah when the servant is hearing and seeing realities, he's being dressed by Sifat al alim right? Because he's speaking the truth, he hears the truth, he saw the truth. When his tongue speaks it's Allah dress on it Sifat al alim because this is now the Divinely face of Prophet from a light coming of a sami, it has to dress the servant, al-basir has to dress the servant. So when they submit Allah opens their heart. Somebody come to you and say, I'm seeing but I'm not submitting, it's false, shaitan playing. Any jinn come and talk to you and you show you Disneyland all day long. If Allah open the safats then he give the uloom and knowledges to awliya. Why? Because he dressed their tongue with al-alim, that they have Divinely knowledges, they have access because it's been unlocked now through their hearing and through their spiritual vision. If they're taking from Divinely knowledges Allah grant them qudra and power that in their breath is al-qadir, they breathe power. As soon as they begin their tafakkur and contemplation they have unlocked a power within their soul that their nafas and their breath brings energy. Now the dunya is trying to find that, right? The dunya is well, we got to go make a petroleum engine, we have to do combustion which is exploding things to get power. Then they say, no as a matter of fact there's ether in the air and there's, there's energy everywhere. Why do you put some copper wires and pull the energy down? Because they want to sell energy, they want to sell knowledge. Everything for them is something they sell. From Allah it's an abundant source of power everywhere. But can you bring and refine the energy? So mean this qudra that Allah opened for the servant that are inheriting from this phase is that the nafasa rahma comes and is full energy from the dhikr of who that exists in every atom and molecule, the nucleus of its power because each one is like a universe, every atom is a universe. How many billions and billions and trillions of atoms? Each one if you magnified it to its real size relevant to us is a complete universe. The center of its universe is the nucleus. The power within that nucleus is who? A Divine Qudra. If Allah grant them this Qudra, this nafas what happens? Every breath they bring in the dhikr of who is dressing them, igniting their soul, igniting their heart because all this breath is coming into the heart, to the lungs, dressing all their essential organs. But most powerful is their soul to be dressed by Allah's qudra. So when we say qadir and qadri it means that Allah opened the heart and the breath of the servant. That they breathe in all the awliya of this reality, they breathe in qadr and power. 
and how they have to use it in their majlis and associations is through their heart they send out the qadr, they're coming out. And the hearts of the servant take it, be dressed from it, feel ignited from it and the shaitans burn and die from it. So they quickly move out of the associations, they move out of the, the way of the broadcast, why? It's like if we could see it in a sci-fi movie, it's a fire coming from the heavens, coming down into the breath and out everywhere it goes. With the shaitans have no capability of handling that, right? So if they stay in the face of something like that, they burn and cease to exist. Like a vampire movie, when the sun comes the vampires can't stay out. Well Allah wants to show us that, that the shaitan has no power. You don't fear shaitan, you have to fear Allah And if Allah with you, oh, there's a whole bunch of tools that can be opened. Don't run for shaitan to get help but you run towards Rahman. Immense amount of realities that can open for the servant through this ishq and muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad So they hear, they see. Allah dresses now their tongue to be real, they speak and give guidance. As a result of their speaking they need a, for their isharat and their guidance they need to have a qudra on which Allah is dressing their breath so that a power comes and fe- people can feel the juzba and feel the fires. Fires comes from what energy source? The qudra that runs through their heart and soul. Like what you see if you examine a star in the sun, it's emitting energies. It's, oh oh there's going to be a solar flare or solar storm and it's going to knock out everything from the earth. Which is stronger, the sun or the heart of the believer? Heart of the believer, the sun is some imitated, walakal karamna bani adam. Allah just says, you're the honoured one. These are all like for entertainment and beautification symbols. So I show you the reality outside but the reality inside is far more powerful. The reality outside, the sun, what is the sun doing? Continuously sending energy flows to 11 planets under its galaxy, under its command. It sends all the energy for its 11 planets. And if it sends too much it can knock out all the satellite systems on earth, it can actually fry all the people on earth. So then Allah if He sends to the heart of the servant, what's that heart capable of? But because it's from the heavens it sends the fayas and tajallis of paradise. The believers take it and they blessed by it. Shaitans burned by it. So, means these are the amazing realities that only Allah convey into our hearts from the immense love of Sayyidina Muhammad. And then Allah grant them nur and hay that a light to come from their eyes and the oceans of hayat to come from their eyes, in which a light of dress and blessings come out. And Bahrul Hayat from their other eye they can rejuvenate somebody whom their hearts are deficient and their souls are weakened from Allah's immense powers. Means that when the heart is lit and the energy is flowing the eyes are like a missiles coming out because the heart is lit. So the eyes are now propagating all the power that exists within the heart of the servant. That's why Prophet taught that, be weary of the servants of Allah for they look with the firasal of Allah they look with the gaze of Allah That's from when I be your seeing of the servant, what happening? That the holy face is dressing from sifat nur and sifat al-hayat, hay. So that when it gazes in to the souls of people it sends them a light from heavens and paradises. Whatever shaitan is trying to take light away, 
their nazar, because the salawats are saying what? Nazar karam. Your generous nazar, why? They don't have to do anything, it's autopilot, their eye immediately is spreading out nur. It's the byproduct of a heart filled with qudra. The other eye is finding a deficiency in hayat, right? What was the example of this hayat? When Sayyidina Musa went to meet Sayyidina Khidr what was the sign of the presence of Sayyidina Khidr We saw a dead fish came to life and jumped in the water, this was ajeeb. The dead fish is representing the souls because they don't want to resurrect dead things, they don't need that, they already went back to Allah The more beautific, muhi al qulub mahi al dhunub What Prophet wounds for his nation, muhi al qulub revive their hearts, mahi al dhunub destroy their sins. So means from the Bahr al Hayat their eye comes and dresses the heart to be revived, to be revived in the ishq and the love of Prophet love of Allah and they go away energized. It's not random, there's a whole system in which Allah has put upon the soul and the responsibility of these souls. Dress the people, doesn't matter even the distance, their power has nothing to do with space and time. Doesn't matter when you watch this broadcast, when you hear those news and those realities, those realities are flowing. Nur is, is moving out and dressing, Bahr al Hayat is dressing and these are the people of that reality that they carry within their heart and soul these nur and these lights from heaven, Sifat al Rahman. They carry Bahr al Hayat from Sifat al Rahim. And Allah dresses their holy face with Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Means this is the face in which to inherit from the face of Sayyidina Muhammad that these knots are describing. That the nations that were making prophecy and nubuwat for previous nations, how high that rank, how impossible that station, but for the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad what kind of gift Allah gave that is here, it's, it's open for you. Why? Because we're the nation under the king. If we come into what they're describing and the system in which they describe, Prophet will open for his nation, their hearing, their seeing, divinely knowledges that they take from the heart of Prophet Qudra and power that they take from the love of Prophet and as a result from their eyes will come out lights. And from their other eye, Bahr al Hayat, when they need that, when these dajjas open their system, right? That's when Allah will activate the servant. But don't think my servants are empty, they represent the Divinely Kingdom of Allah under the stewardship and sultanat of Sayyidina Muhammad Just their eyes open like the sci-fi movies, fires that scorch everywhere just from their eyesight. These are what the devils are afraid of, these are what the devils don't want people to reach the rijal, don't want them to become rijal and want them to change their orientation so that they never have fire in their eyes, never have the love of Allah within their heart. We pray that Allah grant us from these love, from these realities, from the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa Bi siri Surat al-Fatiha Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream 
every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.